In this video, we're going to explore how USB keyboards talk with your computer. And we're going to do that by sniffing the USB packets that come from the keyboard. I'm using a program that is called USB PCAP. If you're on Windows, you can easily get it using WinGet. Just WinGet install and then USB PCAP. As you can see, I already have it installed. But after it's installed, just open the file explorer. And then you can navigate to C program files and USB PCAP right over here. And from here, I'm just going to run this USB PCAP CMD program over here. And we can see after running it, it's asking us which device we want to sniff. Basically, we have a couple of devices here. The third device contains basically all my devices. So that's the device I'm going to select. So I'm going to press three and then enter. Now it just ask me what's the output file name. So this is the file name that is going to put the sniff result into the capture file. This is the file that we're going to open afterwards with Wireshark. Before I'm going to put a name over here, I'm just going to show you this little page here in OS Dev. This is a page from OS Dev Wiki. This specifically talks about USB human interface devices. Oftentimes, human interface devices are shortened as HID. When you hear the term human interface device, it's referring to anything from keyboards, mice, and joysticks. Any device that lets you communicate with the computer, lets a human communicate with the computer. Specifically, I'm here in the section that talks about the key press mechanism. And this contains all kinds of information about how a USB keyboard interacts with the computer. Specifically, we can see an example here that if you press the A key, this is how the interrupt packet will look like. We'll have the foreign hex over here. This is going to be the scan code of the letter A. And the cool thing is, first of all, if you release the keys from your keyboard, we're going to get a zero packet over here. So that's going to be handy to see later when we're sniffing the packets. And also another cool thing that we're going to check is that if you hold both the A key and the B key, for example, and B has a scan code of 5 in hex, we're going to see both of the keys in the same packet. And likewise, if we press also C, we're going to see A, B, and C in the same packet, all the scan codes. So we're going to go ahead and test this behavior right now. Now we're back here in the terminal of USB PCAP. After selecting that I want to filter the third device over here containing all my USB devices, I'm going to give a name to my capture file. It's going to be hello.pcap. And then I'm going to press enter and start the sniffing. Now the sniffing has started, so I'm just going to press A. I'm going to hold on A. Afterwards, I'm going to hold the B key. And then finally, while holding both of them, I'm going to hold the C key. Now I'm going to release all keys, and I'm going to press Control c to stop the sniffing. And now, as you can see over here, we have a new capture file, hello.pcap. I can just double click on this. And it's going to open in Wireshark. If you don't have Wireshark, you can also easily get this with WinGet. But anyway, here is how it looks like. Now what I want to do is, first of all, I want to go ahead and look for the URB interrupt. I'm interested in the ones coming from the keyboard. Now in order to discover the one that is coming from the keyboard, I'm going to scroll to the end over here, and I'm going to click over here on this interrupt. And this I know that comes from the keyboard because I press Control c in the end, and Control c comes from the keyboard. And we can see that the keyboard is device address 19. I'm just going to right click on device address 19 over here. And I'm going to go here to apply as filter and click on selected. Now we have filtered the packets of the USB to only show packets that are related to the keyboard. Now I can just scroll up here. And let's press for example on this packet. Just going to expand this a little up. And we can see the information from the packet right over here. Now let's put this on the side for a sec. I'm going to show you again the wiki. Now notice how the A key looks like. A key has a scan code of 4. And this is exactly what we're seeing over here. This is the scan code of A. Now if we scroll a little down here for the next packet that comes from the keyboard. By the way, notice the source and the destination over here. This is a message from the keyboard to my host. Now you can see the next packet over here has both the letter A and letter B pressed on the keyboard. And this is exactly relevant for the scan code of B, as we can see here. If we have B that has a scan code of 05, and also A is pressed at the same time, which is what I did, we'll have a packet looking something like this. And so on, if we go to the next packet over here, we're going to see C here pressed as well. So you got A, B, and C on the same packet. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a more in-depth video, perhaps exploring how the Linux kernel handles USB keyboards and maybe playing around with it a little.
Anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe for more programming videos.